Good morning, camper people. We're in Woods Ferry National Forest on the Broad River in Chester County, South Carolina. And uh, I was trying to come up with a way to get service because uh, I so I could check my email because the cell phones are not working out here. They'll work up on the hill. We can walk, you know, about a half a mile up the hill and they'll work. And, and uh, they'll work if we get in the car and drive. But uh, I'm going to show you what I do in this situation out here on the fringe. Well, I was going to try and get some help. But it looks like some of my help is out of service. Are you out of service? No. 10, 8, 10, 24? She's not ready yet. Looks like Aaron's busy too. <laughs> Smoke is burning my eyes. Seems like all the sticks in the forest need a point on them right now and she don't have time to help me. This one right here just made a wonderful breakfast. You never bother that one. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stick fishing pole here and I'm going to tie something to it like this little rock. Hopefully it doesn't come loose. But I'm going to tie this rock to this fishing pole. Ah. <laughs> and then I'm going to throw it up in that tree. I could use a weight out of the fishing stuff. But... I think this will work just fine. A couple half hitches on here. And I'm going to get this thing up in that tree. All righty. Are you ready? Are you ready? <clears throat> I found a pretty limb up there that we're going for. So. Yes. All right. Hopefully that uh, worked. Anyway, I tied a rock to the fishing pole and I threw it up in a tree. I don't know if that recorded or not, but if it didn't, you didn't get to see it. I'm sorry, too bad. I do have proof right here. The rock hanging from the fishing string. So the next step is to take the 550 cord that all amateur radio operators carry with them when they go in the woods, right? And tie that to this and then pull it back over the limb. Stand by. Cool, couple things I wanna show you. Um, the fishing line that I use is, um, it's not monofilament, it's, you know, I'm not a fisherman, but it's, it's more like thread and it's a 60 pound test. It's like a twisted, line or whatever it is um, and it's very strong and it'll help you put up antennas if you use a, a weight and a fishing reel with that uh, twisted sewing line or whatever it is um, it's very strong and it'll help you put up your fishing poles every time um, here's the end of the rope and I had to use two ropes because uh, this rope's 100 foot. And it goes up to the limb and comes about halfway back down 
that tells me it's about 75 foot up. That's uh, pretty high. Something else I want to show you. <clears throat> Have you ever seen one of these? Pick this up at the Blue Label store. It's uh, it's for put your cell phone in uh, when you go like kayaking or whatever to keep it dry. Most cell phones are waterproof now, but and uh, I'm just gonna do like that. Attach that thing just like that right there. Then I'm gonna take my phone. Just like that. I'm going to take my phone. Um, let's see. Let's get back to the... I need to make sure the volume's up so I can hear it if it rings. We're going to put it in this case. And then we're just going to raise it up in that tree. Just like that. Now, my phone's pretty heavy, and there's not any, uh, it's, it's, it's real smooth going up, and I've checked it to make sure it'll come back down, and it will, okay? So, what you want to do is, you don't want to put your phone up there. If you have to add some type of weight to that rope so that it comes back down smoothly, then do that. Um, it's not a bad idea because if your only option is to pull it over the limb, then it's going to fall really fast. Just keep that in mind. It needs to be able to come back down safely. So I've, it's raised up there and uh, I'm not even going to take it all the way up because I heard it go ding, 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 which means it is starting to get emails, which means it just got service. Uh, well, the sunshine is right in the way. All right. I don't know if you can see it up there. You can see the line. I can see the line. And, oh, you can see it swinging. You can see it swinging right there. See that? There's my phone. 75 foot up in the air. Actually, it's not all the way up. It's probably about 40 feet. So. There's that. All right, so watch this. Now, I have my Bluetooth. Call mom. Hello. Hey, Mom. Hey. Hey, How Mom. How are y'all doing? We're doing great. We're still camping. I'm making a video about how to get service in the campsite when you don't have service. Do what? I'm making a video about how to get service in a campsite when you don't have service. So, can you hear me okay? Barely. All right. Well, I love you. We'll call you back in a little bit. No, I can't. Okay, she hung up on me. Anyways, so it does work. Uh, Mom thought I was crazy. She was like, uh, okay. Well, anyway, so that's, that's what you do there. So, uh, and you can also turn the hotspot on and get a hotspot in a wide area. So just something to think about if you need it to. I think we've been in the woods too long. You guys take care of Logan.